volunteer ducks flock from all around the world for the annual Hills Duck Race. Some have to navigate empty deserts, fly over large mountain ranges, cross vast oceans, and some just hitchhike. Not very safe, Bob. It's one of the world's longest migrations. Ducks like to arrive two weeks before the big race. This gives them time to practice and get prepared. Ducks are numbered by the order they arrive. 22! Some showed up as early as May this year. Oh, 42! Number 43. 49. 62. Oh, jeez. 79. Most veterans circle and wait for their number to be called, as they don't want their tattoo to be changed. 93. 103. Charlie. I hear a duck coming down. That'll be a 105. Oh, Charlie! Charlie, don't take duck 105! Charlie! If the weather is good, a test race will be held so that ducks can get a feel for the course. Due to safety reasons, they are not allowed to train in the creek. Specially designed pools are provided for practice sessions. You'll notice that the ducks seem to be training in diverse clans or teams. This gives them the advantage when they bunch up due to obstacles. Some people think it resembles roller derby tactics with ducks blocking and others tossing teammates over obstacles. Great rivalries have developed over the years between teams. There are two main schools of thought on how to win. First is to stay upright during the race. This is helpful if the creek level isn't very high and the wind is blowing down a creek. The second method is to flip upside down. It is thought that by doing this you'll have an easier time catching the current. It's also helpful if the wind is blowing upstream. Most ducks will train for and use both methods on race day. In general, most take race day seriously but the late night partying for the two weeks prior to the race can get out of control. It may be a human name on a trophy, but the ducks put blood, sweat, and tears into it every year. 